Yo, what's up guys, Jats here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial, um, and I'm going to do a few tutorials over the next two weeks, um, I'm going to try and do as many as I can, um, but they're not going to be majorly advanced, um, it's just going to be useful things, um, good things to know, and hopefully you'll pick up on techniques along the way. Um, so, first one, uh, today we're doing a vinyl, um, like a music vinyl, which uh, I've got here. Um, this is a logo I made for a client, um, and the vinyl sh kind of thing is in the background. Um, but obviously, when we create it, you'll be able to see the whole thing, and uh, there'll be a lot more detail to it. Um, so, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to get rid of oh, my speech is all over the place today. I'm going to delete everything there. So, we've just got a grey background. I'm going to make that slightly darker. I never really like to work on a flat black or white background it has to be light in between um, so to get these rulers here you first want to if you haven't got these um, scale uh, measurements alongside here uh, you want to do that by pressing command R or control R and they should pop up then you just want to drag it down and it should snap to if it's not snapping then I think I'm sure there's a way here um, this is where you can also select it rulers if I click that it will go off um, and then snap is what you want to do uh, if that's ticked then it should snap to the middle when it's there like so now you want to go to your ellipse tool which is here uh, make sure you've got black selected and just click right in the center and hold shift and alt and pull it outwards and just create a big circle like so um, and now what we're going to do is um, we're going to duplicate that by pressing Command J. Um, go into here and change the colour to a darkish grey about there. That would be good. And just make it a bit smaller like that. Uh, so we've got a bit of a blackout rim and that rim there. I'm just going to rasterize these two layers. Um, and then we want to go to our eraser tool. I'm going to select a pretty big brush. Um, say one that would just about fill up a corner of the rulers. Just say about a thousand. I think that would work for my canvas size. So like that. Um, and we just want to hit it. Oh Christ. Oh dear. Messed up. <laughs> you want to make that soft brush. Sorry I didn't mention that. And do that. I'm going to make that a bit bigger because it looks too circular. Um, so about one one thousand two hundred. Ah, oh, now I'm on the wrong layer. So make sure you've got the top layer selected and just make it look kind of like that. And uh, it this is kind of the reflection effect um, where where the light's kind of shining, um, which will look more detailed once we carry on with this. Um, now what you want to do is you want to select a new layer and we're just going to go to pencil. Uh, there's probably a lot of ways to do this but I'm just going to do it this way because um, I don't know because this is the way I've done it the first time. I'm going to select in the middle and click like so. So it's a diagonal line, uh, line straight down and then I'm going to select the brush flat brush, uh, we're going to make it about oh, I'm going to make this about 35 except my brush thing is going all crazy ok uh, 30 35? yeah, make sure it's white and wait, can I? ok, yeah, just make sure it's a line going straight through and what I've done is I've started off there and hold down shift to go down here um, and then hold down shift to go back up like that stroke path make sure you're on a new layer click brush and it should do that which is perfect um, now I'm going to I'm gonna oh, mask it I'm gonna mask it with that layer the grey layer and uh, that how you do that is alt and click in between the layers um, then I'm going to go to blur Goss, Gossain blur I think that's how you say it um, I'm pretty sure it's not actually, but there's a lot of ways different people say it. And you just want to make sure it's on like 35 ish and um, it will do that kind of effect. Uh, give it a, more of a shine. I'm just going to merge that down 
and yeah so we've got that now uh, what we want to do is uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna undo that lower the opacity slightly it's not so bold um, now I'm gonna go to a lips tool again oh dear there goes my phone um, and then I'm just gonna pull it out from the middle the ellipse tool again make a kind of inner circle and we're going to do it one more time, but we're going to do it with a color. Um, I'm just going to use a blue like that and do it to about there. So it's kind of the same outline as this one here that goes around the edge. All right, now on the inside, we want these um, the kind of lines that go around. So we're going to add a layer on top of that and we're going to go to the elliptical marquee tool, come from the middle and just pull it out to about there go to edit stroke and two pixels depending how big your thing is if it's smaller then maybe one but I'm going to do two um, and there we go that does that kind of line and I'm going to do this a couple times um, edit stroke okay and uh, if you want to be accurate with this um, kind of get the same spacing I want to take more time, um, but I'm kind of just going along with it, and maybe one more, like so. Now, obviously, the, there's other tutorials out there which show you a more advanced vinyl, which are more realistic, um, more detailed, but this is kind of um, not meant to be, uh, meant to be more cartoonish I never know the word just let's just say that um, but more vectorized I think that's the word um, uh, what I'm gonna do with these black lines now is duplicate it I didn't do this on the last one so I'm just testing this out because I think it might it might look alright um, then press control I and that will change it to white it'll invert it I'm just gonna move this down and then move that one down just by moving the arrow key once and then go back to your black lines um, hold down command and click the thumbnail and then go back to the white one and click delete now I'm not sure how that looks uh, we want to put that on low overlay anyway uh, yeah we kinda got an indented effect there which is what I was looking for um, I'm gonna make the black one slightly dim as well um, I'm just gonna do the whole thing with a oh, I'm going to group them and then I'm going to put a brightness contrast oh you can't mask that okay I'm just going to do that and um, that makes the background too dark what am I doing? screw, screw it I'm just going to put it there mask it with that layer and that yeah there we go that works um, just add a bit of contrast so it's a bit more shinier in some places and um, that's pretty much the main vinyl part um, obviously uh, you can add anything in the middle here um, in the blue part maybe like the name that you want of the vinyl um, but it's pretty simple pretty easy to do um, hopefully you picked up a few things along the way uh, sorry about saying control command because obviously a lot of people have Windows some people have Macs me personally I have a Mac um, so I use command um, but it's just one of them things um, but hopefully you like this tutorial um, hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more uh, in the next couple of weeks um, suggest suggest some things to do um, I may throw in a speed art there but I'm not sure what I'm doing yet um, just look out for the new videos and I hope to see you soon uh, please like the video and stuff thanks a lot Strats.